This segment brought to you by Kansas Soybean Commission. Progress powered by Kansas farmers. Oh, do I get the start? <laughs> No, it's always kind of fun to see yeah. which one of us jumps in yeah. first. Yeah, let me jump in. <laughs> okay, well, if you look at our Facebook page, I uh, usually it's me. We'll pick a photograph to put, you know, mm. for our cover photo at the top of uh, the Around Kansas Facebook page. And fortunately, we have some amazing photographers in Kansas, and we have some amazing sites to take pictures of. And one of the ones that I've gotten to know through doing that is Greg Rude. Um, and his pictures, especially Wilson Lake, are phenomenal. I put those things up, and people are like, "This is Kansas." <laughs> yeah. And, and he's just so, he shares our show every Sunday. Thank you. I don't know if they have a watch party out out there at, or <laughs> in well, Russell also, County or whatever. But. He also makes comments on uh, you know uh, pictures that people send in. Yes. And say fantastic. Yes. Hey, that's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. We appreciate you, Greg. So Greg also has a calendar and a book that you can order in time for Christmas. So let's take a look at some of his beautiful work. Greg Rood is not a native Kansan, but he has come to love his adopted state and to capture its beauty with his photography. When he moved from Minnesota, the land of a thousand lakes, he thought he couldn't possibly live somewhere without water. But there was a heck of a bargain on a house in Lucas. When he saw Wilson Lake, he knew it was meant to be. Wilson Lake has inspired his splash art, these incredible captures of the sunset, illuminating splashes of water on the lake. And then there are the sunsets, the trademark skyscape of western Kansas. A cousin of the famous outlaw, the Sundance Kid, Greg adopted the moniker of Sunset Kid, his photos of sunsets are jaw-dropping. His images have been featured on the Russell County Visitor's Guide several times and on the state brochure for the Post Rock Scenic Byway. He is the official photographer for the Denmark, Kansas Preservation Foundation. His Facebook site is Rural Routes by Greg Rude, and I often share his images on the Around Kansas Facebook page. He has a 2018 calendar featuring his photos available now, as well as a 64-page full-color book featuring rural images of Lincoln and Russell counties. Both can be had for around $50. The 55-year-old Navy veteran puts his heart and soul and ability into his work as evidenced by the following he has cultivated. Whether his cowboy-hatted silhouette in front of a lightning-streaked sky or the limestone ruin of homes and barns, Greg captures what is dramatic, poignant, and what might otherwise go unnoticed. Greg and I both agree that it sometimes takes outsiders to see our surroundings anew. He has found a home in an incredible landscape and a town that fosters creative pursuits. All around Kansas, we are proud to call you our friend and neighbor, Greg. Welcome to the Jerry Thomas Gallery and Collection, where we showcase my renowned frontier military and Native American artifacts. Behind me you see a touch of fall. We put together not only the beauty of Micah High Walking, who is the first graduate of West Point of the Northern Cheyenne people and a dear friend, but also a Hudson's Bay blanket that I have here in the gallery. The unique opportunity that I was able to have was we unveiled this painting and surprised Micah at Custer Battlefield, a true honor. 